more than 10,000 subscribers. What if I told you that after just seven videos, I had so many subscribers? You're correct, of course. Indeed, with just four videos, this channel's monetization was approved as well. Hundreds of subscribers and thousands of views are still coming in every day to our channel. However, how is the question? I then posed this question to my viewers. In this video, I'll explain how I gained 10,000 subscribers in just seven episodes. For your convenience, I have broken down the causes behind my channel's growth into four key sections. And like me, you too can simply develop your channel by implementing these tactics wisely. However, before I get started, let me briefly recap my YouTube past. This is not my first YouTube channel, Decoding YT. I've created over 180 videos and worked on other channels before this. I gained a lot of knowledge about YouTube from working on my old channel, reading articles about the platform, and studying popular YouTubers. But working on my prior channel wasn't worth it because it had a very small prospective audience. Satisfying since there is less progress. I then made the decision to give it a go and started a YouTube channel discussing channel growth. Now even though I started this channel, I was having trouble. Making videos like how to get more views didn't make sense at first because I didn't have an audience to draw views, and most people would comment that I should improve my views first, etc. As I was starting a new channel with no subscribers. And when we consider it, every new creator faces this issue. They have a lot to contribute to their niche, but they are unable to do so due to a smaller audience. I was, and when we think about it, every new creator has this issue. They have a lot to say in their area, but they can't because they have less followers. I know since I was in the same boat, I had a lot to say about making videos on YouTube, creating thumbnails, editing, and so on, but the real question was, who would watch them? Thus, I employed strategy number two, one, jacking the trend. The practice of profiting from an established trend, such as a YouTuber or topic, in order to increase your own channel views is known as trendjacking. It basically suggests that you should create a video if you don't already have one, on a subject that people are already interested in, and then turn those viewers into your audience. The subject matter might be anything that's hot in your niche, such as a well-known YouTuber, a new product, or trending news. Even well-known YouTubers have admitted to using trend jacking occasionally. Popular Minecraft YouTuber Dream, for instance, attracted his first following by posting a video about PewDiePie's Minecraft seed, and the video became viral despite Dream's channel being almost inactive. I chose the shortcut, since I knew it would take weeks or months for my video to gain popularity if I did something else. I made the decision to create my debut video featuring Algro, another well-known artist in my field. The benefit of this was that Algro had 400k subscribers already, indicating that there is a lot of interest in the keyword Algro. Hence, the likelihood that someone may see one of Algro's or his connected films rose, which is precisely what took place. Seven days after the video was uploaded, the number of views began to rise rapidly. It goes without saying that one video is insufficient to grow an audience, so I posted two more, and those two eventually attracted views and helped me achieve almost 5,000 subscribers. The question at hand is, does trend jacking equate to free views? Many people are making videos on popular subjects or well-known producers because it's not a difficult effort. But do they all receive views? Naturally, no, because the views won't arrive until you've mastered everything else. This takes me to strategy number two, eye-catching thumbnails. It's reasonable to argue that this channel's thumbnails have played a significant role in its rise. One of the two primary elements considered by YouTube when ranking a video is CTR, click-through rate, which is heavily influenced by your thumbnail. A video can go viral for any number of reasons these days, but on YouTube, the CTR off the majority of channels is between 2 and 10 percent, and I recall that the CTR of these three of my videos was initially really high. The CTR of this particular video, high view to subscription ratio, 
The number of people who watch your video and subsequently subscribe to your channel is known as your view to sub ratio. Additionally, this is a crucial number for becoming viral as, based on the algorithm, it gives you a direct indication of how satisfied your viewers are. Aside from that, increased audience retention is another benefit of excellent. It goes without saying that a five minute face cam video with a person providing YouTube tips will be far less interesting than a video with text, sound effects, and screen elements. Thus, there are a few key aspects that I consider when editing my videos. Examine the relevant images. Whatever videos play on the screen will be relevant to what I'm talking, as you will notice. For example, the video will include a girl attempting to create something but struggling to come up with ideas if I say you can't begin writing a script. Likewise, if I'm discussing thinking, a video clip about that will play. This kind of clip will be very beneficial to you while visual storytelling. These videos are incredibly entertaining because I also use elements to clarify things as necessary. Subsequently, I include suitable audio effects with these components and text, accompanied by a clean and distinct narration. So watch this video. I've covered everything if you want to learn this kind of editing in detail. Step 4. Designing Binge Watch Events Alright so, binge watching this channel's videos is a major contributing factor to its growth. It indicates that viewers are viewing many videos when they visit the channel, which is good news for YouTube. To put it another way, YouTube wants users to stay on the site for as long as possible in order to watch more and more videos and consequently see more advertisements. Therefore, it's still a wonderful signal for YouTube if a viewer views numerous videos from my channel, even if they don't watch them all the way through. Videos are assisting YouTube in reaching its objectives. What are the advantages of this? Your videos will receive even greater promotion on YouTube. You now know that not only does individual video watch time matter, but session watch time, that is, the total amount of time a viewer spends watching your channel, also does. So, how can one extend the duration of a session? There are two approaches, though. Barbara 1. Make use of playlists. You can create playlists with all of your related videos so that viewers who enjoy watching a specific category of your channel can binge watch those videos. No. 2. End screens are my personal fave. Therefore, if you regularly watch this channel, you are aware of my emphasis on the significance of end screens. For example, this video got about 4K views only on end screens. How? I use an oleoc to control the final screen element. For example, if the video only covers the first five faults made by YouTubers, I might include a sixth mistake as a bonus and instruct viewers to click the end screen to see it. And I'll keep doing this with practically all of my videos. The advantage of doing this is that it encourages viewers to bingy watch your materiel, which lengthens their viewing time overall. However, keep in mind that there are a few fundamental prerequisites for encouraging people to binge watch your material, such as having all of your channel's videos in the same specialty so that viewers can watch numerous videos. For example, people might become confused if I had two films about YouTube and a third video regarding a smartphone review. Decide on your niche as precisely as you can. When YouTube suggests your video to viewers, such as in suggested, homepage, etc., they should be able to identify it as your video. Therefore, make every effort to make your thumbnails similar. Remember that. Now that you've made it this far, let me share with you some rookie mistakes that every YouTuber makes when they first start out. If you want to gain any benefit from the four or five strategies I've discussed in this video, you must avoid these blunders. Watch the video on the right to learn how to edit like me, or click the left video to learn more about these mistakes. Bye. I'll see you there.